Yo, what's up? Name is Gently One, and welcome back to the Temple of Time in Ocarina of Time as we go to town to go complete the Happy Mask Shop side quest. That's what this episode's gonna be all about. Because I know where I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, right? You know what? But yes, let's see if we can't sell them all. Gotta sell them all. Happy Mask Shop only open during the day, and it became night. Good thing we have the sun song, otherwise this would be really annoying. Day-night systems are nice only when you can exploit them. Although I don't know how you would exploit it in anything other than this. But yeah, happy mash shop. What's up, Creepo? I know you got Mario on your backpack. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back 20 rupees for the skull mask now. Payment received. It's like he's an ATM. Skull mask, free to borrow. You get it free to borrow whenever you finish. Selling it, so spooky mask. 30 rupees. You wanna buy the spooky mask? Yep, you borrowed it. Where it was C to show it off. You can scare many people with this mask. So note that it's scary. Do we know anyone who wants to be scary? Yes, we do. There's a little kid in a graveyard in Kakariko who would love to say hello to us. Or who wants his mask? What the? Okay. Hold up. That's the song. This amazing song. Get to use it a lot because it's our quick line to uh, Kakariko. Actually, this is exactly where we need to go anyways, and we're even at the right time of day. So, let's get a teleportation on. Although, I'm pretty sure it always rains. Like, I'm pretty sure until we beat the uh, Shadow Temple, it's going to keep raining. I could just be wrong because we're up at the top of the graveyard where... Uh, where the composer, yeah, it's where the composer brothers were, so it always rains there. But look, <coughs> that mask was so scary it made me sneeze, but it makes you look like a re-dead. You'll scare a lot of people with this mask, and this little kid wants to be scary. See, take the mask off, talk to him. Little kids can't go on the heart-pounding grave-digging tour described on the sign. Since I can't do that, I'm just imitating Dompe the Gravekeeper all day. But with my cute face, I'm not heart-pounding at all, am I? And then, Scary Mask. Yeah, it's Dompe the Gravekeeper. Okay, that's harsh, considering this mask was made to be creepy and ugly. You're a punk little kid, aren't you? Triple question mark. Oh, it's just a mask. I get a different kind of fright from that mask than I get from Dompe. I don't know if that's even harsher or nicer. Will you give that mask to me? Yes. With this mask, I'll be just like Dompe. Here's my money. You sold the 30 rupee mask to a kid for full price? And he didn't mind paying at all. That's nice, but I only had 20, so I still have to lose 10. Great. So you can get the new mask model, too, after this. And the last one's the hardest. Uh, what am I playing? I like how the butterflies are frozen over my left shoulder. Or my right shoulder, left on the screen here. Just frozen butterflies, and the kid is like, Roar. I'm gonna eat ya. I like how when you teleport, Navi kind of gets left behind, but then she's waiting for you whenever you get there. It's like Navi has better teleportation than you do. And this marks the second time in around five real life minutes that I have played the Prelude of Light to come back to here. So, but this time I'm not ending the episode as soon as I got here. That last one went, went on a little ways, but happy mask shop. Even though it's more like the creepy mask shop. Because at least here... Like, in the 3DS version, they add masks on the walls, and one of the masks is the Mario 1 from his backpack and Madra's mask. So, pay him back the 30 rupees, and then we can get the, uh, fourth mask. The Bunny Hood. Price 50 ears with swinging rabbit ears. OMG, it's the Bunny Hood! You got the Bunny Hood! Where it would see to show it off. The Hood's long ears are so cute. However, there's just one small problem with this. Unlike in Madra's mask, it isn't magical. Nope, no sprinting super-powered Link. You don't get to be the Flash. It's like, I'm sorry, but you do not get to be the Flash. Now, this is the hardest one to do just because this is a completely random one. Now, I really, really regret in Episode 4 saying that this game was logical. 
because most of the like I'll just a disturbing amount of stuff is starting to is like turning up to be illogical so we need to stick to the path if you want to sell this you need to stick to the path and even this that's the only thing annoying about this one is that you have to sprint around randomly in the Hyrule field and uh, aha there he is I see him you see that dot on the horizon it's a running dot it's a running man it's the running man he invented the running man and Michael Jackson trying to impersonate doing the opposite of him came up with the moonwalk and now we gotta get running after him we can uh, roll a little faster and he can run and we can go over the hills over the hills over the hills he can't go over the hills he has to stick the uh, to stick to the path but we gotta catch up to him because he wants the bunny hood this is so freaking random like, I had to look up a guide to get this one no not jump no so we have to sit here and follow him and good thing the sun's going down because he only stops for the sun he will not stop for anything else this man has no mercy the elements have no hold on him and in that is why in Madras Mass they reuse this guy as the postman because you need somebody this much of a determinator this much of a tough guy to be the real American hero because he will deliver the mail rain or shine or giant spike monster over there a giant flower that like stops it. holy crap there's many ones there's many ones I want out I want out I want out this this isn't worth it come on stop already stop already say funny say stop it okay let's just talk to the guy speak there's like a bunch of whirling blady flower things around here and I think I just use Buffy speak trope and I don't like that trope I don't like doing that but there's like a bunch of the bladed flower things flying around I bet with those long ears you can hear the voices. Oh, are those genuine rabbit ears from the Animal of Legend? I don't care how expensive it is. Please sell it to me. Yes. My longtime dream, returning to the wildlife. Finally, the actor, stage, and prop have been united. It's a friffy rupee mask, but he, played you, he paid you a crazy amount of money for it. More money than you can count. And I think it's either 80 rupees or he just gives you, like, a maximum wallet. And he's sitting here doing sit-ups. He's so happy. He's just so happy. Ding! See, I think I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, I haven't gotten to actually editing that one where I do this so happy. I need to remember to edit that in. It's just like I need to remember that editing that in here. But let's go pay back 50 of the rupees. And their skeletons and their spiky flower things. Pea hat larva. Defend with your shield. So we have the giant spiky flower. That's the pea hat. Then we have the skeletons in the back. And look at those demonic eyes. They're like, oh, oh what? Uh, now I'm creeped out because even when you pull out the ocarina and time freezes, the style kids, uh, the style kids, style children's eyes still glow and pulse. Look at that. I'm staring deeply into his eyes, and that's probably a terrible idea. Just get me out of here. Out. Far away. Teleport me to town. I want out of here. Warp to the Temple of Time. As the stealth children are sitting there, no, my dinner, dinner. <laughs> no, Daphne Snow Hanson High Rule, not Daphne Snow Hanson High Rule. That's Wind Waker, uh, King Harkinian. No High Rule, didn't even exist when this game came out. The CDI was not even. I don't think it was even a dream in the mind of the people at Philips yet, and it most definitely was not one of the greatest things on YouTube yet. You will die. Join me, Link, or you will die. <laughs> it's like, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. And actually, it is. That, that would work every time I came into Castletown. Because the city not being overrun with zombies is exactly what everybody wants. So, oh great, you sold it. Please pay back tw uh, 50 rupees for the money hood now. Oh yeah! Very well done. All the masks are sold out. I knew I could trust you. See, doing the side quest is why he forces you to get Madras mask for him and Madras mask if you didn't do it. So this side quest is canon. You better do it. As a reward, I will lend you this special mask. This is the mask of truth. It is a mysterious mask passed down by the Sheikah. With this mask, you can see into other people's minds. It's useful, but scary. Why is it scary? You may find out as you grow older and discover the true meaning of life. Ho ho ho! I'm Santa Claus! 
You borrow the mask of truth, wear it with C to read many pe or read people's minds. From now on, you can borrow any mask, plus, uh, yeah, just have faith. That's kind of creepy. But you can also borrow two other masks. Welcome, with mask or with which mask can I lend you? You can also get a Gerudo mask, a Zora mask, and a Goron mask. And I like the Zora mask. But let's go. I'll keep the mask of truth just because the mask of truth is the one with the function. See, mask of truth. And you look, you look freaky. It freaks me out. Yeah, speak. Let's borrow. Let's just show off the other masks. So we have the uh, we have the girly mask, the Gerudo mask. This mask will make you look like a girl? Question mark. OMG, I'm a girl. I do believe that Link is now representing about half of the gamers on the internet who always pick a female character instead of a male character, even when they're male. Sorry, Linky, but you gotta do it. And then, welcome, which mask can I lend you? I'll just change his voice randomly. And then, the Goron mask. You got the Goron mask? And now I really do get to be Darunya's uh, blood brother. And it says it will make your head look big, though. Yeah, it makes your head look big. Horp, horp. Does this mask make my head look... Look at that! Look look at this. It clips through the shield. The mask is so big it clips through the shield. That's utterly hilarious. And then, last but certainly not least... ask. Oh, we can ask about the Mask of Truth instead of asking about stuff, so... Um... You can't skip this. I'm hitting B and A. Okay. So let me go to the Zora's mask. I accidentally hit A while talking to... No! I didn't want to do this over again. Why? I'm going to just keep hitting B. It's useful, but scary. What it lets you do is read... I don't know if it lets you read people's minds, but I know it lets you read the gossip stones. But last but not least, the Zora's mask. You got the Zora's mask? No, I get to be Mikau. And go get concussions. Just like Chugga Conroy says, but... With this mask, you can become one, be, uh, become one of the Zoras. But, luckily, there is no painful transformation. But look at those ears. Aren't you glad that in Madra's mask, they went and changed the ear look? Look at them ears. He looks like an airplane. I'm an airplane. I'm a Zora airplane. Thank you for flying Zora Airlines, even though they should have, like, a steamboat ship service. But, yes, Zora's mask. But let's go back to the one that actually does stuff. Get the mask of truth. You got the mask of truth. Show it to many people. And now we wear it. And we go outside. And it's off again. But watch this. Let's see. Talk to the lady. Yeah, what's your problem? I think if we can pick up a dog here. I don't know. Well, I can't think of anything to say. Okay, never mind. We need to find... Oh, wait. We can just go up here. I was about to say, we need to find... A gossip stone, but there's four gossip stones up here. So what time is it in Audacity? It's a little bit of a long episode, but I don't care. And now we can check it. And now when we check it with a mask, it says, This statue's one-eyed gaze pierces into your mind. Or that was with the mask off. Now with the mask on, responding to your mask, this strange stone statue talks to you. I overheard this. They say that Gerudo sometimes come into Hyrule Castle Town to look for boyfriends. And so these all have like random jokes and factoids like let's see. Uh they say that it is against the rules to use glasses at the treasure chest shop in Hyrule Castle Town Market. And that's hinting to if you go into the treasure shop and use the lens of truth, you get to cheat. And let's see, the third one says they say that Malin of Lon Lon Ranch hopes a knight in shining armor will come and sweep her off her feet someday. Too bad for her all the knights in armor in this game are A, all chicks, and B, iron knuckles, which are mini-bosses. So let's see this third one. They say that Malin set the original record in the obstacle course of Lon Lon Ranch. Okay, so those are useless, but there's some that are actually useful and do stuff. So, yeah. But that's enough for one episode. We have completed the Happy Mask Shop side quest. We are just absolutely all set and ready. That was the last... I got all the side quest stuff I want done, completed, so I'm ready to go back to the future, continue the story, and there is nothing really side questy left in the game, so when we come back, it's just a straight shot to the end. 
So this has been Gently One, and I'll see you next time.